I love watching other YouTubers show off their shoes, even if it's just to admire the craftsmanship or take some inspiration. And the end of the year is a great time to step back and take stock. And so this week I've decided to give you a complete overview of my dress shoe collection. If you would like to know more about each shoe, you can check out my full reviews which are a bit more in depth. So the first pair are my go-to wet weather shoes, the Oliver Sweeney Milham Black Capto Oxfords. Perfect for a dreary day at the office with the rubber soles keeping my feet nice and dry. I think I paid around £100 for these and they are made in India. Not the highest quality, but they are good gear welted with full leather lining. One may consider black Oxfords boring, but you really can't go wrong with a pair of smart black Oxfords in the classic round toe English dress shoe style. They just do the job. If you only own one pair of shoes, make it a black cap toe Oxford. And if you live in a cold, wet country, rubber soles are definitely a great idea. Next up are the Shoe Passion two-tone brown Oxford brogues. I was a little bit surprised when I unboxed these shoes as I was expecting them to be more of a tan colour but actually the light brown just works really nicely. A beautifully elegant shoe with perfect contrasting tones and the right amount of broguing. Good gear welted and made in Spain. Nice leather and well constructed, a great entry level shoe. The last is slightly elongated which has led to a little bit more creasing on the vamp but there isn't much I can do about that. I paid £169, which is the most I've ever paid for a pair of shoes. It was a big step for me at the time, but the floodgates have been open now. Shoe Passion doesn't seem to get much attention online, but they have a wonderful range of affordable shoes in all sorts of styles. Now we come to the shoes that really ignited my passion for beautiful dress shoes these tan hole cuts by June London. The elegance of the hole cut is pretty much unmatched. The quality of these shoes isn't great with glued soles and synthetic lining and thin leather, but they're a cheap and cheerful summer shoe, a perfect match with lighter colored trousers and suits. They are a little bit big for me, which doesn't help with the creasing, but I'll keep wearing them until I have a nicer pair or they just don't look good anymore. I think I paid £40 or so, which is throw away money really. I would love to get my hands on the Blackbird seamless hole cut, but I can't justify that cost at the moment. The fourth pair are a wingtip Oxford woven leather brogue in navy by June London. That's something you don't see every day, but I do really love these shoes, especially the contrasting laces. Like the hole cuts, the soles are glued, the lining is synthetic and the leather isn't the most hard wearing, but they do look fantastic in my opinion. The navy shoe is special because it can look black in certain lights, but upon closer inspection the blue tones become evident. I paid around £60 for these, which I think is pretty fair. Again, I'll keep wearing them until they don't look good anymore. Next are another pair of brogues by Shoe Passion, this time long wing derby brogues in brown. The style seems like a bit of a contradiction. Darker shades are often considered more formal, but extravagant broguing is considered less formal. The high polish finish again is something usually reserved for leather opera pumps or black tie ensembles, but with all that being said, this pair still look stunning. The combination shouldn't work, but it does. Perfect with navy or dark grey trousers or suits. If you want a pair of brogues that are a bit different from what everyone else is wearing, then long wing brogues are definitely a great choice. The JR soles with the paisley pattern are unusual and a bit pointless, but they are beautiful and beauty for the sake of beauty makes life worth living. I paid £129 for these, great value. Like the previously mentioned two-tone Oxfords, just a great entry-level shoe with decent materials and construction. 
I really like Shoe Passion's white buckskin brogues, but they never seem to have my size in stock. But I won't give up hope and I'll keep looking. And the last pair are my latest acquisition, which I got in Meermin's Black Friday sale for just £133, including shipping, reduced from around £175-£180. They are a pair of gold museum calf double monk straps. I think originally they were part of Meermin's group made to order program and I've seen them float in and out of stock so I'm happy with this little bargain. As you have seen I now have a few pairs of brown and tan shoes but I wanted to try the gold museum calf and the double buckle monk strap offers a unique alternative to the Derby and Oxford styles. Museum calf was a big deal a few years back and I could see why as this pair really pop compared to the other shoes that I own. I will do a full review at some point when I've had them for a little bit longer but my initial thought is that they are pretty impressive for the money. The closed channel stitching on the sole for example is something you just don't see in this price range. I do own three other pairs of shoes but they are not good quality and are not part of my regular rotation. I will probably take them to a charity shop at some point as I won't wear these anymore. So looking forward to 2023, well oh my goodness where do I start? I definitely need another pair of winter shoes with rubber soles just so I can rotate them if we have a prolonged cold or wet weather spell in the UK. So I would love to get a pair of split toed derbies in brown or dark brown. I would also love a pair of burgundy oxblood shoes, maybe double monks from Meermin depending on how I get on with the gold museum calf ones. I previously owned a pair of burgundy double monks from Samuel Windsor. They looked ridiculous but they were so uncomfortable I couldn't wear them. Aside from that I am always on the lookout for interesting and unusual designs and materials. I'll put some pictures up on the screen of some of the shoes I like the look of. I'm not much of an impulse buyer, I usually bookmark ones I'm interested in and agonise over it until I make a decision but I now have a collection that will last me many years so I have to be more selective and make sure that I really want the shoes before making the purchase. Maybe I'll try some bespoke shoes from one of the more affordable brands. I'll see how things go. Let me know in the comments if there's any brand or particular shoe you think I should check out. You know, I don't think you can own too many pairs of shoes. As long as you wear them in a regular rotation and take good care of them, you're just helping to keep them all in tip top condition and looking great for many years to come. A single pair of shoes worn every day may last a year or two if you're lucky, but half a dozen pairs could easily last a decade or more. Invest in classic styles and stick to what you love and you'll be happy. I bought four new pairs this year, but I don't think I will ever get tired of unboxing new shoes and smelling that gorgeous leather for the first time. So you can probably expect more of the same in 2023. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It really does help. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye now.